right, so welcome to my dining room. Uh, I'm going to show you step one of how I mount my art quilts um, when I am going to be framing them. Um, this is part of a Little Pink Houses series. Um, the, uh, the largest piece is off and with the organization that will be auctioning it off uh, at their benefit. Um, and the rest of the series is going to be sold and proceeds are going to also go to the children's advocacy organization right here where I live locally. It's called Ginny's House. Um, so enough about that. You want to know how to mount your art quilt. So the first thing is I have cut two mats. So the first one is just uh, fits inside the frame. So make sure you have the frame and that this fits easily into it. And then the second mat um, is it leaves about a quarter inch space around here. So, you know, I have a mat cutter and uh, there are excellent mat cutting videos if you have a mat cutter, but I measure the quilt and then I um, cut my mat so that I have about a quarter inch going around. Um, then what I do, I place my art quilt in here because in the end, I want to, you know, I want to make sure my edges are all matching up because I'm going to like permanently adhere this to this. And when I say permanently, if you ever wanted to uh, take it out, put a different mat behind it, like do those kinds of things, um, I'm using an adhesive that if you just took the bottom mat and submersed it in water and let the water seep up through the cotton, um, the, the glue would come off. It is, however, archival, pH neutral, um, it's a permanent PVA, it dries clear, it's flexible, you know, it's all the things you want it to be. Um, and once I mount this, um, it will hold this in place very securely. So what I do now, I have this in place and I'm going to put some of this PVA glue on the back. So I flip over part of the quilt leaving the other portion exactly where it is. I don't want this to shift again because I'm gluing this down. So I've already made sure that my mats are matching up on all sides. Um, right, this is going to be. And then I just put a, a little bit, not a lot. I spread it out. It's a rather thin. Right. But I want to keep this fairly secure, so I run a little bead of glue around here. And then I just flip it over. And then once that's set, I can come here and I can do the other side. So I'm going to start where... Um, where I left off, right? So this is going to be a little bit bigger portion. I like to get a little towards the corners. You don't want it too close to the edge because you don't want it to seep out and then you have to clean it up off the mat. Um, I've ironed this and um, I shouldn't say that. I've pressed this. There's a difference, right? Ironing you move the iron back and forth to get the wrinkles perhaps out of your clothes or whatever. Pressing, you hold the iron in place, right? And you press down to keep it there. So now I've got this glued down, but I want it to really stick to the, um, I really want it to stick to the mat board. So what I'm going to do is I take my trusty parchment paper and I'm going to lay that on top like this. One, to protect my quilt. Two, to protect my mat board because anybody knows once you cut, cutting mat is very precise and finicky and can be a 
kind of pain in the neck. So you don't want anything to happen to it. And then I have these old dictionaries. Nobody uses this anymore. Uh, when was the last time you opened a dictionary to find out the meaning of a word, right? Nobody does that. It's all dictionary.com now. Let's see. And then I'm just going to arrange these so that they are holding down the quilt. Oh, that one's not so satisfactory. Let me get another, another book on there. Hmm. Let's see. I've got, I've obviously got time. The glue is going to take some time to dry. And I usually let this set up overnight. Oh, good. That made it right to the edge. Good. I let this set up overnight. Then when I'm 100% sure that it's dry, um, then I will go ahead and continue with the mounting process. So this is just step one takes just a few minutes, but then it takes 24 hours to dry. So um, I'll show you step two in the next video.